My next guest is coming off an impressive win last weekend at UFC Vegas 16, getting that knockout over Damon Jackson. It is Ilya Tapuria joining me here on the program for the very first time. Ilya, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Doing well, but not as good as you, though. What a win that was. Congratulations. Uh, you must have been really uh, satisfied with that performance, getting your first finish in the UFC. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Nice sensations, you know, and good remembers. And finally, I get to, I get to finish. I wanted in my first fight too, but it was it was uh, it was excellent. Um, and this was your first time fighting in Las Vegas. How how cool was that for you, getting to be uh, competing in the fight capital of the world? It was amazing. You know, it, it was one of my dreams to fight one day in Las Vegas, and you know, my dreams it's it's like a little bit is coming true, and everything's gonna come true. And and even without the crowd, it was still a good experience for you, just getting to be there. Yeah, of course, it was a different experience for me fighting in like make of the sport, you know. <laughs> no, for sure, that's awesome. Uh, what was the game plan heading into the fight? I imagine it was to stand and trade, but uh, what what was what was your game plan going in? And the game plan was stop his takedowns, not going in the ground, and finish him with the strike. You know, game plan to really game plan was fighting in the strike. And could the fight have gone any better, in your opinion? I don't think so. I I I I had like my precisions was like uh, mis predicciones eran la, las mismas. Yeah, my predictions were the same. Yeah, my predictions were, were, were the same. How did you celebrate after that win? And I I don't really celebrate because one of my coaches uh, test positive for COVID, and he was in another uh, hotel during quarantine. And we don't have like no estábamos tristes por el, que, yeah. que no, no podía estar con nosotros y no hicimos nada. Yeah. He was sad that he his coach was in there and they were as a whole team. So he wanted to uh, not go out and go crazy because his coach was well, was in quarantine and wasn't gonna have fun so Yeah. For for sure, and and a lot of stuff's closed anyways with, with COVID and all that, but did did you have a you know, did you have like like a nice meal or anything like that after the fight? Ah, uh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> After a six, seven weeks of hard diet, because I, I did two week classes, uh, two week uh, cuts in two months, and it, it, it was a little bit hard to make the diet and everything. After the fight, of course, I, I eat everything so tasty. What was your favorite thing to eat? Because there's a lot of good food in Las Vegas. Mm, I, I like, you know, all the stuff. So, fried chickens and hamburgers i love it and ice cream good stuff good choices there uh what was the feedback like from the fans after this fight because like i said uh, everyone was talking about your knockout on the weekend he got a great, great reaction from the fans. Very positive. A lot of, a lot of messages. I can't read all of them. He says that there's too many of them, but he loves to answer back to all of them. And uh, finally, people are trying to recognize him and his talent, and uh, he's to be ready because more is more to come. And uh, I, I know the the UFC must have been pretty pleased as well. Did you or your management speak to them after the fight? Yeah, I, I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm assuming so because it was it was a good knockout, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm hablado y todo bien. Yes, we spoke to them. It's all good. Ready for 2021 big plans. I, I bet. Um, I know uh, you didn't get the 50k bonus, but I did see that Dana White mentioned that he was going to give you something uh, extra for that performance. Uh, I imagine it was pretty nice. Yes, but he said that he, he, he will he will like take care about about us, mm -hmm. and if then I say that he he gonna take care about some about someone, he takes care of so take care about you. If he says that he will take care of someone, he takes care of you. Great, yeah, and and you know how does that feel having the boss uh, you know acknowledge your performance just in your second UFC fight? Like for him to you know must give you a lot of confidence knowing the boss is happy with you. He said that um, he's very happy with the reaction that Dana had this fight. He expected it for our last one. We made sure for this one he had that reaction and to wait for the next one that's going to be even better. Great. And uh, when are you looking to fight next? When would be the perfect time to return? 
Um, I can give you the answer right now, you know, because now I want to go back with my family, enjoy the Christmas time, and after all, all, all these parties, yeah, we'll see, you know, I'm a fighter, this is my job, I love what I, uh, I'm i doing, so I'm always working, I'm always training, so maybe, I don't know, in April, March. Yeah, the spring is kind of when you're looking at it. Enjoy the holidays. You should. It's been a busy year for you, right? So is there any opponents you're looking at fighting next, or is that just up to your coaches or your management? Like I said before, you know, I don't care about anyone. I got, The only man I'm looking for is the man who has the belt. So I don't care about anyone else. Obviously, I want someone who's close to, to fight for the belt, like someone who's in top 15, top 10. So we going to happen, you know. I want to go forward. I don't want to fight with someone who is who stays back on my back. Well, that was going to be my next question. Not to look too far ahead here, but you beat a really good prospect in Eustace Alal in your debut, and then you just knocked out a veteran. Like, how close do you think you are to becoming a contender in this division? Because you've looked outstanding since uh, joining the UFC. I think if I, if I if I get three more finishes, I I can be the next challenger. Love it. I love the confidence. That's great. Um, you, you, you talked about, uh, you know, being with your family and all that. Um, what are the plans for the holiday season? And now I'm going to back to Spain. And after that, uh, I'm going to go for to, to New York, to Georgia, to my home country with all my family. And I'm going to be there. Great. And when do you plan on returning to the States or you'll just wait to see sort of when your next fight is? Uh, ah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for, for, for my next fight confirmation, and then I'm going to make the time. Okay, that's great. And uh, I, I didn't put this in the questions, but uh, what do you like doing? What are some of your hobbies outside of the cage? Do you watch any Netflix? Do you play any video games? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm like a I'm, I'm normal person like everyone. Um, I watch movies, have fun with my friends. I don't know so many things. I go que me voy a comer con mis amigos a, a una isla que tenemos cerca de, de Alicante muchas veces a Tabarca que es que me encanta ir siempre es como his, his, favorite, his favorite thing to do is go to an island next to Alicante where he lives. It's called Atabarca, yeah. and to eat with his friend because Ilya loves to eat. That's, that's one of his favorite hobbies to eat. For <laughs> sure. So fighting and eating, yes, they can kind of go uh, against each other, though. But that's good. You deserve the time off. So that's uh, that, that's really great. Let me ask you just quickly. You mentioned watching movies and stuff. Do you watch movies in English to help with your English, or do you only watch movies uh, in Spanish? Yeah, yeah. I, I try to watch movies in English. Not every time, but I try. I, more. Uh, I'd say I try to improve, you know. But uh, lo que más hago, intento es hablar con alguien en inglés, tener una conversación. Yeah, so we most tries to improve in English is to speak with someone in English, where he mo- mostly watches in Spanish. Great. Well, Ilya, I want to thank you so much for the time. Congratulations on the win. If there's anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. No, I, I just want to say thank you to all, all, all my fans, to everybody who supports me every day. And nothing else to say. Thank you so much for everything and for your time, of course.